Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T. Thank you so much for tuning in to the channel. Today I am coming to you with a pattern haul. Recently Vogue had a sale and I picked up quite a few Vogue patterns that I wanted and I also have a few simplicity patterns from the last simplicity sale that I was not able to share with you all so I'm going to share those patterns with you as well. But I will go ahead and start off with the Vogue patterns. So the first pattern that I picked up is a Vogue 1695 and I picked up this pattern because I recently made this pattern but I made the wrong size and all of the sizes comes in one pattern envelope and that meant I no longer had the pattern because I cut through all of the sizes to make the size that I made. So because I really do like this pattern and I do eventually want to make this dress as it should be made, I decided to go ahead and pick up this pattern again. So here are the line drawings on the back for this pattern and the description is Mrs. Dress Loose Fitting Dress that has dropped shoulders and a collar ending in ties. And I like both views for this dress. So the next Vogue pattern that I got was Vogue 1684. I really, really thought that this skirt was cute. Um, I really had a different skirt in mind for Vogue, but they no longer carry it. So I picked up this particular skirt because it came very close to what I was looking for. So the pattern description is Mrs. Skirt fitted lined wrapped skirt with a shaped hemline hook and bar closure contrast variation and here are the line drawings so this looks very interesting and i hope to make this in the spring so then we have a jumpsuit and this is Vogue 1664 and i picked it up because i really liked how the model looks in the sequin jumpsuit really really nice so the description is mrs jumpsuit pull on jumpsuit and it has loose fitting bodice and flare pants with or without side seam pockets and it has a lined bodice for view a and view b is fully lined and here are the line drawings for this and because it is sleeveless you could always wear it layered but i prefer to wear it sleeveless so i'll probably sew this up in the spring or summer and then i picked up vogue 1544 i really really love this style of dress it is kind of like a shift dress but it has a little bit of shape to it and it has that beautiful gathering detail at the top with the collar that falls back into a tie in the back side i just really really love this this is so elegant and beautiful to me the pattern description is mrs dress fitted line dress has back invisible zipper and collar that extends into back tie and here are the line drawings for that so again this is super super beautiful and i can honestly sew this up at any time because i absolutely love it and then i picked up Vogue 1550. I thought this was super interesting and cute. I would make view A, which is what the model on the right hand side is wearing, and C, with the whole outfit of what the model on the right hand side is wearing, basically. I really like that. And I really love this zipper that is down the front side of that pattern. So um, I had not noticed this pattern before, but a friend of mine picked it up and I thought it was super duper cute and trendy. And so I decided to pick it up as well. The description is Mrs. Tunics and Pans and it has a semi fitted pullover tunic that has contrast inset at the center front and contrast binding and the uneven hemline. So earlier I said that this was a zipper and it's not a zipper. After reading the description, it's contrast buying. So yeah, even better, it's pullover and you get that extra pop of look by using a contrast binding. So I am gonna be very anxious to sew that up because I just love it. View, very, very cute summer and spring outfit. 
So with the simplicity patterns, I also picked up this new look pattern while I was shopping for simplicity. And I picked this one new look pattern up because I really like the sleeves on here, which is on view A. Those are the sleeves that I like. This pattern does not go up to my size. It stops at size 18 and I would need a bigger size in order to fit into the top. I feel that I can make a top and use the sleeves. So with them being so big and voluminous, I don't think I'll have a problem using this on a larger size shirt because I'm not too much larger. I'm probably only one or two sizes up. So we'll see how that works. Then I picked up Simplicity 9457. You see the rack number on the top, but 9457 is the drawer number. And I picked this up for the men's vest. My husband's birthday is in April and I plan to make him a vest. And I do have some other vest patterns, but I like the different variations that is within this pattern. And it is newer. So like I said, I picked it up for the different variations and I am going to make this in the spring. And here are the line drawings in the back. Here's a closer views of the variations. There's D right here. C. B. And A. So yeah, I don't know which view I'm going to sew up, but they are definitely, definitely interesting to me and a lot better as far as choices to pick from than the other vest patterns that I have. So that will be coming in the spring as well. Then I picked up Simplicity 9452. Again, the rack number is on the pattern that you're seeing, but 9452 is the drawer number. And I just really like this top for the flowiness of it. I think the tops are cute. I think the tops have great sleeve variations and it's very flowy, which means it's forgiving. So I do like to have cute forgiving options in my wardrobe. And it also says that it is easy to sew. So I like that as well. The pattern description is Mrs. Tops. And here are the line drawings in the back. And then I picked up this oversized hoodie pattern. Absolutely love it. All sizes are in one package. And this is pattern number 9456. And so I really like the oversized hoodie the best, which is with the lady model is wearing on the left. And I, yeah. I just think it's adorable and her view is view B. So that is going to be sewn up pretty soon here. Absolutely love it. And I will show you the line drawings in the back. So here are the line drawings in the back and the description is unisex oversized hoodies, pants and booties. Then I picked up Simplicity 9460. Again, the rack number is on here, but 9460 is the correct number for this pattern. I picked this up for my toddlers. I love the little fleece sweatshirt that the little boy is wearing with the patched pants. If you see, absolutely thought this was a cute and adorable outfit. So I picked it up for that. And here are the line drawings in the back. The description is toddler in children's dress, top, and pants. Then I picked up Simplicity 9201. Uh, the rack number is on here, but again, 9201 is the correct drawer number. And I picked this up for the vest here. I think that vest is cute. Um, one of my sons is very particular about the fabrics that he wears on his body. And he does like stuff like this. He likes garments like that. So I picked it up to make him happy. <laughs> and then I picked up this bag pattern, which is Simplicity 9298. I have a lot of bags, but I also have a lot of scrap fabric. And I felt like the different 
contrast options that are within this pattern would help me to use up my scrap fabrics so that is why i picked it up i really like views d which is your top left i like view b which is your bottom left and i like view c which is your top right the most um, there's a lot of contrasting going on and a lot of opportunity to make a very creative bag here are the line drawings on the back and the description is market tote bags well that is it for my pattern haul i hope you enjoyed or like some of the patterns let me know in the comments which one is your favorite pattern or which pattern was interesting with you and which one you would like to see me sew up first anything and thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your continued support and i will see you in the next video and don't forget to hit that like button on your way out bye